Tell me what you know about Arabs. Arabs. They are cool, they have money. Arabs. Actually, Arabs, they are, they are people who are mainly in the Middle East and uh, their religion is basically Muslim. Arabs. Mm, basically, they are just uh, a race of people mm, found in the middle, middle East part of the world, from North Africa, the Middle East part of Asia. They are beautiful people. They are good in trading, yeah, business, and um, uh, especially in the oil sector, they are boosting the economy, they're boosting the dollar, the euros, and everything. We need them. Um, the people originated from the Middle East, especially the current uh, Syria and Iraq. That's the origin of Arabs. And thereafter, they spread into the Gulf of Israel. I can talk of myself as a Muslim. We have a connection with Arabs. In that, one, our prophet, that's the last prophet, Muhammad, comes from the Arab community. And uh, because of that, we have um, Arab connections. Moja Moja, Msiongen in your water? Hiya. Name of Kituna Jodia Warabu. Naja Warabu. How do you Warabu? Unajua wa Arabu? Unajua wa Arabu? Unajua wa Arabu? Na wewe? Unajua wa Arabu. Do you know that Swahili is derived from Arabic? Yeah, yeah, I know that. So, tell me some Arab words. Jambo. <laughs> really? Like shukran, maybe. Shukran, okay. Assalamu alaikum, eh? Assalamu alaikum, eh? Assalamu alaikum, eh? Inshallah. I know that uh, this is this piece. Here, Maybe you mean. Shukran. Shukran, yeah. Do you know that Swahili is derived from Arabic? Yeah, I know, I know. So, do you know any Arabic word from Swahili? Yeah, from Swahili. They all they know, I can't see. I can't see them. Yeah, no see. No see. Are they bad? They are bad. <laughs> Our religion teaching comes from the Arabic words. Like, yes, Salam alaikum. Like, Hul, where they talk about it. Hul, where they talk. I know of the. I know of the. Bait, which is the house. Yeah. When you see their culture, they have great influence on, on us. Especially the African countries, and especially Kenya. Arabs came here as a merchants, as a traders. They used to trade with us through the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. Yeah. So that's why we have some of the Arabs live in, in Mombasa. They have business. We interact with them. And they have influenced our our, our culture. In fact, if you study the, the language of Swahili, there are a lot of words derived from the Arabic language. First of all, I'd like to say that Arabs came here even before the British. That's a true fact. And when they came here, they came here mainly for trade. Through trade, you have to communicate. You cannot communicate non-verbally alone all the days. You have to communicate verbally. So, through the butter trade first, instead of through butter trade. Slaves was one of the communities. It's a fact, a sad fact. Now through the communication, in the trade processes, some of the language terminologies were borrowed from each other. And also we must attest that there was intermarriages, especially facilitated by slave trade. Now through the intermarriages, the children learn to mix both the language from the father and the mother, who are, dif who are different people. And then the trend get, uh, goes on like that. That's how Swahili emerged. Ahmad, Ana Min Baladi, Kenya. Ana Minatulab, Jamiat Nairobi. Atalamu. Atalamu, Lugat al Arabia, was sociology, was psychology. I look like an Arab. You look cool. <laughs> <laughs>
is where you look like Arab. Why? From, from which country? From Egypt. Do you think I'm Arab? You? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. Do you think I, I, Okay, the thing I can say is, you look Portuguese, you look Arab, you look Brazilian, right now. Do, you, do I look like an Arab? You look like a Lebanese. <laughs> From Lebanon, if I am not mistaken. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I remember Benali. <laughs> Benali? Yes. Do I look like an Arab? Um. I can't know the country you're talking about. You know. um, Can you guess any country? If I had to guess, I'd probably say... New Tunisia. Yay! We got it! We got to be on camera! Kama huyu ni Mwarabu? Ni nini? Huyu ni Mchaina? I have to laugh. I look from China! No. Where do I look from? Um, your waist? That's it. You so know, you where, can't... which country you can guess? Which country? Our continent. Uh, maybe Asia? Yeah. Okay. She's African. <laughs> from Tunisia. I'm from Tunisia, just up north. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's follow up on this question. Um, so do you consider North Africans as Africans? Um, Okay, they are Africans, but uh, different. They don't do. They never considered as Africans so much. Yeah. Do you think there's a specific reason why that is? Maybe um, okay, most of them are not black Africans. Like they're not black, so we tend not to like, take them like Africans because most Africans are black. So North Africans, are they Africans or Arabs? I can say they are Arabs in Africa. Do you consider North Africans as Arabs? Yes. How? Because they are within the African continent. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Because even from the maps, from uh, the geography, it's part of Africa. Why do you think they are being excluded from Africa? From the age? Maybe they're excluding themselves. Who excluded them? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, because of language. That's the greatest part. Because uh, they, 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 the Sub Saharan Africa, they are mostly originating from the Bantu speaking people. But uh, the North Africa, they originated from uh, both the Mediterranean, Spanish people, Portuguese, and the Middle East Arab people. Now the language is uh, the major factor in uh, isolation of the North African countries. Number two, you can also say color. It's also logical. They are more lighter than Sub-Saharan people. Uh, way of life, the way of life of the uh, North African people is mainly more based on religion and spiritual than there is Sufism, there is Islam and other kinds of religions other than our traditional African society. Do you know the difference between Arab and Muslim? Arab and Muslim. Muslim is a religion, my friend. When you say you are from Arab country, the perception is like you are a Muslim. Like an, an Arab, an Arab is a tribe, but being a Muslim, it's a faith. It's a faith that not only Arabs were renounce on it. Islam is the religion. Arab, Arabic, Yeah, Muslim is the religion. Arab is raised. So do you think all Arabs are Muslim? No. It's not good. There are Arabs who are Christians. No, there is an Arabs who are Christians and Jews. You might know. Uh, but one thing I know is that majority of Arabs are Muslim. There is a distinction. Because uh, although Prophet Muhammad was an Arab, 
Uh, that's where many people confuse that uh, Islam is a religion of the Arabs just because Prophet Muhammad was an Arab. That's uh, one of the choices of uh, Almighty God. But uh, Prophet Muhammad was sent to the whole world, was not sent to the Arabs. It's just that the Arabs, the time he was sent to the Arabs, they were in a period of ignorance. There are a lot of social disorders in the Arab Peninsula in terms of uh, slavery, in terms of uh, girl child abuse. Uh, Arabs were burying their own women, they were burying their own girl, girls. So he, he was sent to instill some order, spiritual order and also social order. And then uh, from there, uh, from the Arabian Peninsula, it, it was to spread to the whole world. Syria. Syria. Uh -huh. I know there is Egypt, there is uh, the Brotherhood, whatever, and there is uh, Turkey, there is uh, Syria, Turkey, Saudi Arabia. Five Arab countries. There is Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, Tunisia, Libya. Do you know? Yeah, Morocco. There's Algeria, there's Egypt, there's Morocco, there's Tunisia, and there's Libya. Egypt is one of them. Now that we have a lot of springs in Egypt, we have Egypt, we have Iraq, it's one of the countries in the Syria. And so we have the Iranian, the Iran, the Iran. And we also have Sudan. Now that has been split in the, the south and the north. I think now I'm particularly talking of the north. Yeah. Iran is not. Can you name another one? Arabs. Okay. Iran, Qatar. the Persians. Okay, okay. okay. the Persians. Sorry, for, thanks for that correction. You have the Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, you have the Saudi Arabia, which, which, which is also the hub of the Islamic world. Uh, it's, it's the center of the town. I mean, the center of the world. Can you name five Arab countries? Can you name five in Africa? Five in Africa. I start with Morocco, Libya, Tunisia, Egypt, and uh, Sudan. Not Sudan. Um, Egypt. Um, what is the name of Egypt? Algeria. Tunisia, is it? Morocco. <laughs> the fifth one. I got it very good. In Africa. Okay. Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, Libya, Egypt. Uh, do you think Arabs are terrorists? They are not. I believe like uh, being a terrorist, you don't come from a tribe. Being a terrorist is an individual act. You can't connote that to anyone because even an African can be a terrorist. Yeah? Even a Sudanese can be a terrorist. Even me, a Kamba, can be a terrorist. Yeah? The terrorism is a word which was invented uh, uh, with the beginning of the new millennium. And those who invented them had their own agenda. I don't know the agenda. But terrorism cannot be ascribed to the Arabs. And uh, I think terrorism is more personal or more specific. But cannot be. it's wrong to generalize the word terrorism to a group of 